Antonio Brown can be a diva. There is no denying that. When you're a wide receiver, have y'all ever just watched? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about us, yeah. us non-football people. Have y'all ever just watched a wide receiver go to work every week? You out there running up and down the field, and more than 60% of the time, you ain't even getting the ball thrown to you. Yeah. You got to be a diva. Playing a wide receiver <laughs> spot. Playing a wide more so than any other position. You have to be a diva hey, because you are out there. Here. You are out there just <laughs> running up and down, running up and down the field. And more often than not, you're not even getting looked at. Now, in Antonio Brown's case, nobody has been targeted more. Since 2016, mm -hmm. he's been targeted 350 times. DeAndre Hopkins is like three behind with 37 less receptions. A Antonio Brown is universally recognized as a top two receiver in Absolutely. football, if not number one. You you don't get that just because you had five consecutive 100 reception seasons over 1,200 yards. You get it because Look. when the ball is thrown to you, you're usually catching it. This is a bad brother. Yep. Now, now, don't get me wrong. He turn up their damn social media pages. They all out of control, all of them, and I understand that. But when you talk about this brother's game and what he brings to the table, you talk about Big Ben made him. Who's to say he didn't make Big Ben yeah. in recent memory? Because last time I checked, we've looked but at Ben and said, well, hold on, Max. We said we've looked at Ben and we've said, yo, what's wrong with him? We ain't never said that about A.B. Yeah, Go ahead, Max. But that's not the question. The question, do you have a problem with Antonio Brown's response? I, said I got no. a big problem with Wait. Antonio Brown's response. You mean to tell me that a dude who does not even work for the team anymore, who was on the PR staff up till last year, says something about you, says that Big Ben made you, you were lucky. By the way, anyone with a brain can see Antonio Brown would ball wherever he went. Better for some teams with better quarterbacks than others. Ben Roethlisberger is one of the better ones, but ain't the very best. Antonio Brown could go somewhere else. He could be even better than he is with, with Big Ben, and he'd be great wherever he went. But look, that is enough to get you to say trade me when your team is in turmoil? When, 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 when you've already had a tie against the team you're supposed to You misquoted to him. What's that? You misquoted him. He didn't say Who? trade me. He said trade Let's me and find, find out. out. Yeah. Well, that's that's what on. he said. No, no, no. That that it's still <laughs> responding. It's still – this dude does not have the power to trade you. It's not like the current GM is talking about you. It's a dude who used to be on the PR staff. Who used and to be on the PR staff yeah, as an insider. They were, they were friends. And you – hold up. I let you speak as you say. And, right. and by the way, you know your but team you is in turmoil. But you misquoting people. You need to be and, interrupted when you misquoting people. Antonio <laughs> – and excuse me, Le'Veon Bell is not with the team. The defense hasn't shown up, and they haven't in recent years. Roethlisberger's not the same player he used to be. This is the same Antonio Brown who, when Mike Tomlin last year is giving a speech, hey, be conscious of what's going on. Don't let this stuff out of the locker room. Post on social media. As the coach is saying that, Antonio Brown is filming it on Facebook, putting it up live – like, that is a problem. And here's the real issue I have with it, Ryan. I'm going to give it to you. The, the leadership. What leadership means is not just thinking about yourself, thinking about how that affects your team, particularly when the going gets rough. And Antonio Brown has once again shown he is thinking about himself, the best wide out in the game. But he is thinking about himself, not showing leadership, and the team needs him to not be doing this stuff right now. I, I will say this. I, I get a lot of flack for when I, I speak about Antonio because everybody sees the smile and they, they see these different things. And the perception of him is almost like he's the anti Odell Beckham Jr. It's almost like Odell Beckham Jr. is a bad teammate because he does these things. I think it's the reverse. I think it's the opposite. When you look at Antonio Brown and this decision, I don't really have a, a problem with your decision to be upset and tweet with a guy that you feel like offended you or you feel like a, a guy that insults you. One, Scarpino is dead wrong. I know Scarp very well. Not a bad dude. Was a cool cat. He would come get you. Hey, you got an interview with this guy. Got an interview with that guy. Ryan, do you want to do this? That was his job when I was in Pittsburgh. What happens is when you know that somebody knows you, when you spit time around somebody and they say something like this about you, it touches you in a different way. Yeah. You, exactly. feel, you feel a little differently about it. It's like, hold on, man, you know me. But now when you're outside of the building, you start to wonder, well, what's happening in the building? Why would a guy who knows Antonio Brown like this, Antonio Brown, he's the best wide receiver in the league. Antonio Brown, he smiles for the kids. He does all these great things. Is there more to this than what we're getting? And so 
That's when you clap back. That's when you fire back. Here's my issue with the timing of Antonio responding to this. You just blew up on Randy, F Randy Finkner on the sideline. Yep. You got nine catches in both of the first two games. They are getting you the ball. You are getting attempts. You have a team who's dealing with the Le'Veon Bell situation, but now I can't take this tweet in the vacuum. I got to look at you kicking over the cooler last year. I got to look at you when you're talking, when the coach is talking to you after the game, telling you to not do the exact thing that you're doing. You're not one trying to disrespect the coach. Like I said last year, you have no concern for him. You don't feel any type of way about him. You're not considering what's going on with the rest of the team. That's the issue. He has to put team first in this situation, right. already missing Le'Veon Bell, struggling to win games. He has to think about more than Antonio Brown and his feelings. Well, what I'm saying to you is this. I appreciate that last point. No disagreement there. But we need to get back to the first point, which is the biggest one you made. Scarpino, is that his name? Well, good luck finding a job in PR in the future because you work for a team, you leave it, then you talk about players that you worked with. That's a no-no. You don't do something like that. And my, that's what I, that's the way I was answering the question, Max and Ryan and Molly, mm -hmm. as it pertains to Antonio Brown coming back. If this was some random cat that said something like that, you ignore him. Yeah. But somebody that worked for That's the team I said. Maybe they is isn't in, he, he he's a inside. Don't so take basically, it out on the team. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm not, but what I'm saying is, you're responding to that guy by saying, trade me and find out. You're not asking the team to be traded. No. Because the comment wasn't directed yeah, the tweet, at the team. The, the, it's about what the that actual, guy said. Yeah, the actual tweet and that's responding, right. I have the, no issue with that. That was my the, yeah, point. The, no like issue that with in that the vacuum, at all. That's no because problem. Because of Scarpino you know, working for the of, team. No, but it just it's looks where bad everybody with everything is. that's going on. It's, with yeah, the Lakers, right. guys, Ben didn't guys, play well, they're losing. Antonio Brown didn't say, come on, Scarp, I would ball for any team. 